I want to talk. You deaf damn it! I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? I want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... I can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But... What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. There is a... Her bones? Yes. Give me here. And leave me be.
Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice? You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the eyes been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. <laughs> 